Hey folks, today we are breaking down our kit for fishing land-based for flathead with soft plastics. For loads of tips and techniques on catching flathead land-based, make sure you check out our How to Catch Flathead on Soft Plastics land-based video that accompanies this video that we're doing here today. But today is all about breaking down our kit that we use land-based when we're targeting flathead. So firstly, when we are targeting flathead, I like to keep everything light and mobile. That's what it's all about. If you can keep it light, stay mobile, you can cover more water, you can throw more casts, you can catch more fish. You're not worrying about the gear on your back and all the gear that you're carrying with you. So generally we'll carry one combo with us. And if you wanna keep a second combo as a spare, you can just leave it locked in the vehicle so that you can duck back and grab it if you do have an issue. Rare that we'll have an issue with a rod and reel combo when we are out there flicking lures though. So our combo that we go to for fishing the flats is a seven foot, two to four kilo TT rod as a great starting point for flicking a range of soft plastics. We pair that with a 2500 size Akuma reel in an ITX or a Samar HD as a great starting point. And that reel is spooled with six pound or eight pound Platypus Pulse X8 braid, which gives you a very long cast and it's nice and smooth to fish with. And leader wise, we'll fish a Platypus leader in a 10 to 15 pound. So often we'll go to the 15 pound because we are fishing land-based. If we do have a sustained battle, it gives us more chance of landing that fish with that bit heavier leader. So that's our rod and reel combo. At the heart of our kit though, is this guy here. So this is the TT Tackle Sling Bag. So it's a sling bag, you can see the strap here, it's all padded, nice and comfortable and adjustable. So that allows us to keep all of our kit with us, swing it out of the way, but that combo that we mentioned, we can just slot into this rod holder as well when we are wanting to rig or stop for a break or whatever we're doing, that combo just slots in here, that keeps it out of the sand and out of the mud and the water while we are rigging and that sort of thing. So really, really cool piece of kit nice and light and it's got plenty of storage space on here to carry enough gear for a session out on the flat. So firstly, the kit that we carry with us, we wanna be able to land those flathead when we do bring them in. So I generally carry a small landing net with me, especially if I'm out wading. If I'm out wading and there's nowhere to drag the flathead up on the bank, a net is a great option. And I just clip it on using my lip grip. So I'll just clip the net and the lip grips and clip it onto the D-ring on my sling bag. So you've got D-rings here for scissors and other accessories that you want to attach on there. But that net is great for landing when you're wading. Otherwise, if we're fishing on the bank itself, we can just use the momentum of the fish and we can slide that fish up the bank, pushing water in front of it so that it gets it up onto the bank. Once we've got it up there, grab our TT floating lip grips and we're good to lock that fish, secure it for a photo and for a release. Those lip grips make it safe to handle that fish, less damage for you, less damage for the fish, and those are floating lip grips. So if you are out there and you do drop them in the water, no problem, they'll float so you can find them again. Also on the outside of our pack here, the other item you'll see is a pair of pliers locked in. So I've got uh, TT seven inch straight nose pliers. So they're, they're a great plier if the fish does swallow the lure deep, you can get that plier in and get that lure out. And also has a backup cutter on there. We carry scissors, but there's another cutter on there just in case you forget or lose your scissors. You've got a cutter there for rigging as well on those pliers and they just fit nicely in that plier holder on the bag. So everything's secure on our pack and our net's clipped on there as well. So nice and easy to carry everything with us. Two smaller pockets and a larger pocket on our bag for waiting. So when we open up in here, you can see we've got our scissors and we've got our leader in there as well. And also this guy, and this is what it's all about for me. This is an excellent pack if you wanna get into your flatties land-based. So this is the TT Headlocks flathead value pack and it's got jig heads in there that we have hand picked to suit your flatty fishing. So in here we have five different jig heads that are perfect for our plackies for flathead and a bunch of different weights as well. So we can cover everything from shallow water and drains right through to our deeper edges. So 3 8 ounce 3 0 and quarter ounce 3 0 perfect for our three inch style of plastics and they're ideal for fishing the flats and also the deeper edges. Then we've got our quarter 2.0, which gives us that smaller hook size in that nice quarter ounce weight for punching big long casts. And then we come down to a 1 6th, 1 0, and a 1 8th in a 1. So that covers our two and a half inch popular plastics for flatties as well, like the prawns and grubs and those sorts of things. So we're covered from shallows and slow fall plastics right through to deep edges with that kit. So that's a great kit. And it means you can just grab one of those kits, 
throw it in your bag, grab a few plastics and away you go. So the plastics that we chose for our session that we did fishing land based for flatties, we ran with four packets of plastic. So running with four packets of plastic gives us a few color options and it also gives us a few different profiles that we can use while we are fishing. So a favorite for me is that three inch minnows for flathead and we've got our quarter and our 3 8 ounce 3 -o that fit that beautifully and also the quarter 2 -o you can run in that as well. So that's a perfect one for flats and deeper edges. 3.75 inch streaks is a jerk bait. Great thing about jerk bait, little tail action. So we can throw a big long cast, get it down quick and then we can shake it and rattle it around. So we've got quarter and also one sixth heads and also one eighth that will fit that. So a lot of options for rigging that one. And then I threw in a couple of two and a half inch plastics as well for when that water got shallower and the fish got a bit more finicky and that sort of thing. And that was a ST grubs in a two and a half inch and a prawns in a two and a half inch. And with that kit there, we've got our one sixth and our one eighth that we can rig on those for fishing varying water depths. So with that flathead value pack and four packets of plastics, we've got a lot of options for out there fishing the flats for flathead and also those other species that we come across while we're out there fishing flats and edges for flathead. And I always scent up as well. So that's a good one to throw in your kit, scent up your plastics, especially if the bite's tough. That guy there, the Procure Super Gel, it's got powerful amino acids and bite stimulants and UV enhancement that we can put on there to attract the fish and trigger strikes. And it's also got real ground bait in there. So it's, it's a great attractant for your fishing and it stays on the plastics really well because it's an, a gel based scent. So I put it on about every 30 casts. And also once I get a fish, I might put a little bit more on there as well. So that's our two pockets there. In there, we have got our jig heads, leader, scissors, plastic scent, everything in there ready to go. And we can easily swing that bag around and access it when we are out there fishing the flats. So that leaves our main compartment on our bag. So other things that I might carry with me when I'm out there, carry some water for sure. We've got the option we can throw our sunscreen in if we're gonna be out there for a long session. Also our bug spray, depending on where we are fishing. I might also have a couple of muesli bars in there and a small first aid kit is another option that you might throw in your sling bag, depending on how far you're going and in the environment that you're fishing in. So that's our kit there ready to go, all packs up nice and neat so we can wander around out on those flats and edges. Another important thing to consider when you're out there is clothing. So you are out there exposed in the sun and a lot of reflection off the water. So I'll generally cover myself up pretty well head to toe. I've got a pair of shoes with a solid sole there that I run because of the environments that you walk in and also the creatures that might be in there. So I run a decent pair of wading shoes and then I'll go with some long quick dry pants, a tournament style shirt with long sleeves, some gloves, a buff as well too that I can pull up over my head if I need to, and a cap and sunnies so that we can cut that glare and we can see the bait, see the fish and see the structure while we're out there on, our, on the flats fishing. So there you go, that is our flathead kit. Our kit for chasing flathead land based with soft plastics, nice and easy, simple to set up, doesn't cost you a huge amount of money. You can get out there and you can smack a few fish. So I hope that helps you get set up and get out there and get stuck into a few flathead yourself. All the best with the fishing. Cheers.